Just a short while ago, a few weeks back, I was showing you in one of my earlier videos just how nicely all the cacti in the greenhouse were preparing themselves. You know, spring was starting and there was a whole series of cacti just already showing their buds. Well, it's flower and blooming time now. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my greenhouse. My name is Joe. Well, you can probably hear the pretty heavy rain that we're having here today. You can probably hear that on the roof of the greenhouse. The uh, heavy rain tapping away at the uh, glass of the glass house roofing. <laughs> and what a change to just yesterday. Yeah, it was gorgeous weather yesterday and uh, you know that's turned into the exact opposite today again and that's been actually the whole story of this spring so far certainly here in uh, central europe in uh, southern germany where you know we've been having a relatively cool and a pretty wet and rainy spring so far and it's amazing when i compare the pictures and videos of some of my plants especially the you know the, the timing of the flowering between when I compare between last year and this year the two springtime periods you know we're several weeks behind relative to last year's spring which admittedly was very warm and you know probably above average temperatures and sunshine hours now I think we're having exactly the opposite this spring, certainly so far. We've had a uh, abundance of rain, abundance of uh, cooler temperatures, and uh, you know only the occasional couple of days of sunshine and warm temperatures. But the amazing thing is that you know it doesn't take a lot of sunshine and it doesn't take a lot of warm temperatures to actually get our cacti to just explode with respect to the the blooms and the flowers and you know from just showing their buds to actually then opening those buds to the wonderful blooms and flowers wow the rain is getting really really strong here now uh, i hope you can still hear me uh properly on the microphone but i'll try my best to speak a bit louder than the rain tapping away at the roofing of the greenhouse now as i was saying relatively cool relatively wet so far but on those occasional sunny warm days we've been having just amazing blooms and in a way it's uh, probably more compressed this spring than it was last year so uh, you know what we're seeing is um, a whole series of cacti and other succulent plants that are um, you know, growing their buds and they're in waiting for that particular sunny, warm day where suddenly from, you know, those buds, they will move very quickly to open the flowers and show their just magnificent blooms. Let's go and enjoy a couple of the flowering cacti in my greenhouse and I'll take you on a little tour to just show you how wonderful these plants actually flower. And uh, I'll be taking you through a number of groups of cacti that uh, most of which actually I can really recommend for beginners and of course for the established, well-experienced growers anyway. And you know, what you're gonna be seeing are flowers from cacti of the genus Steno cactus, uh, Tello cactus, Turbinicarpus, there's uh, Rebutsias, there's going to be Lophophoras, and there's going to be all kinds of other cacti, Mammillarias, I forgot. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. From the other succulents, the Euphorbias are starting to flower in the greenhouse as well, so you'll be seeing some examples there, and so on, and so on. So, stay tuned. Now take a look at this wonderful, wonderful large pot. This 
assemblage of Rebutia cacti from this wonderful genus of Rebutia. And we've got the pink flowering Rebutia perplexa. Next to it, the yellowish orange colored Rebutia knitze. Next to it, the white blooming Rebutia senilis, and it's a hybrid called the Rose of York. Wonderful, wonderful Rebutia. And then the Rebutia valtteri, a orange colored bloom. I actually decided a few months back during uh, the winter to just have a go at planting a number of Rebutia. These are actually pretty much all the Rebutia cacti that I have from various species and I've planted them into one pot just to you know have these wonderful blooms appear around about the same time and just to um, appreciate the wonderful colors that the different species of this genus actually have. There's my dog, Juno, barking away in the background. I'm not sure whether you can hear her. By the way, if you're wondering why I've actually got this bright green t-shirt on, well, it's partly to do with one of the themes that I'll be presenting in this video, and that is... Let me just move down a little bit here and you can see more of the the t-shirt. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that gorgeous? It is actually a t-shirt. I love this t-shirt. You know, it's a Lofofora theme. I guess Andy Warhol would be proud of this, uh, this assembly of uh, Lofoforas in bright Andy Warhol typical colors. And um, this is actually a t-shirt that I got from the merchandise store of Desert Plants of Avalon. You'll know, probably all of you will know that uh, Cactus Channel, the Cactus and Succulent Channel on YouTube, uh, run by Lynn and uh, her partner Hans. And, you know, that, that's a fantastic channel to uh, be dialing into. Always great videos. And like I say... I got myself this uh, <laughs> wonderful t-shirt. I love it because it's also, uh, you know, very fitting to, like I say, one of the themes in this video. And that is because uh, I'm going to show you some of the plants that I have in my Lofofora corner, uh, a particularly warm and sunny corner of the greenhouse where um, my Lofofora cacti uh, seem to be doing best. And they've just started to flower. So, uh, you know, wonderful sight that I thought I wanted to share with you. The other reason, of course, for putting on this t-shirt is, apart from the fact that I simply just really, really like it, uh, it is the fact that it's nice, bright and colorful. And that, of course, is a contrast badly needed on a gray, rainy day like today. Now, the other thing that I'd like to show you is my corner with the various Lophophora cacti that I have in my collection. And uh, what you can see here is the Lophophora williamsi, a relatively young plant here in bloom in the foreground, and Lophophora Decipiens or Decipiens with its more pink colored blooms. Also a relatively young plant just next to it here. And then I've got 
my older Lophophora mother plants, most of them in bloom at the moment up here. I keep them as a nice group of plants growing together. I've had these for many, many years now. Uh, most of them actually have been grown from seed. And as you can see, you know, some of them in beautiful bloom. In any case, they're all quite mature, quite old plants. And uh, they're great also, not just to, you know, just enjoy as blooming mother plants, but also because they, of course, will be the source of new seeds for seedlings that I can then grow. I've got a few more Lophophora here. There's actually a, a double-headed little specimen over here. Here's the uh, Decipients once more with beautiful two flowers. There's a Lophophora williamsi, slightly older plant again with actually a seed pod, a fruit uh, pod at the top in the apex there. And uh, a couple more older Lophophora plants. I've got some Aztecums here. but also uh, an Obregonia denigri or denigrii. Talking of that plant, I've actually got one of those, my older uh, Obregonia, that is in flower today. This is a fantastic plant. I love this cactus. It's uh, in its appearance a little bit resembling, you know, the area carpus family uh, or genus of, of cacti, but uh, it is actually different and it is, to my knowledge, a, uh, the only species of this uh, genus, uh, Obregonia. And uh, I think it's still kept uh, as a separate genus from other cactus uh, genera. Next to my Lophophorus, I have the a tray with my Areocarpus fusaratus plants. These are very old plants, over 20 years old, all grown from seed. And uh, they're now in their first phase of growth following the winter dormancy. That uh, will be followed by a sort of a mini dormancy period during the uh, the midsummer months, and then once that break, that sort of intermediate break uh, that occurs normally during the hottest and you know 
the period with the most intense sunshine during the summer. After that, so as we move into September, October, um, at the end of the intense heat of summer, the area carpus plants will need a bit more watering again, and that's when they also start to show their just absolutely stunning flowers. Now up here, no flowers at this point in time yet, but this is my collection of ferro cacti mainly, and uh, they are up here towards the roof of the greenhouse where it's nice and sunny and pretty hot and they really quite like that they enjoy those uh, those conditions and next to them I'm keeping my little collection of the steno cacti the they used to be called echino fossilo cactus as a genus and uh, these are sometimes also called their their popular name in English Occasionally is brain cactus, and you can possibly see why, you know, their ribs basically are, they have this wavy shape, these very thin ribs, and uh, that is very typical for steno cacti, those thin laminated wavy ribs. They've got beautiful flowers. Here's my little collection of these wonderful plants, stenocactus. So let's see what else is uh, happening here at the moment. Here's a Turbinicarpus alonzoi. Turbinicarpus. Turbinicarpus cacti are just fantastic, fantastic. I've been showing them in a number of my other videos. Uh, here is another special Turbinicarpus. It's Schwarzi or Schwarzi eye. It's a white blooming beauty. Here's Alonso again. That's the uh, a purple colored Turbinicarpus with again a you know quite unique shape and uh, and body over here I've got my a whole tray full of Tello cactus species. So these are particularly beautiful plants again from mainly from Mexico uh, originating and you know they've got the most stunning flowers. I can really recommend cacti from this genus. Fellow cactus. 
I hope you enjoyed that selection of flowering cacti and other succulents from my greenhouse. You know, a selection, I, I would call it the spring selection because it was the flowers of the last two to three weeks. So roughly late April to early May. So if you enjoyed this video, you know, go ahead, please, and uh, click a like. Send me a comment if you like. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos of this kind, more cacti, more other succulent plants, then if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And you'll have plenty of videos that you can discover on the channel, plus all the additional new videos coming in the next weeks and months. That's it for today's part one of this video. Please join me for part two coming up very soon in this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you all very soon again. Stay safe, take care, and of course, happy growing. Thank you.